Hi guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm gonna be filming for you a decluttering, organizing, a cleaning style video that needed to get done. I've been watching the Marie Kondo on Netflix just like everyone else and there's three areas that I've been putting off that I need to tackle today. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you so I really hope you enjoy watching. Okay, here is the before look inside my cabinets of my master bathroom. They are hideous, they need to be gone through. I'm just not in here often because I get ready in my beauty room, so I kept putting it off and nobody's ever in there because it's our master bathroom. But today is the day that I decided to tackle it and go through all of this stuff. It just kind of was thrown in there when we moved in a few years ago. And I also want to mention that today's cleaning video is a collab with Jamie from Jamie's Journey. And guys, she is so so sweet. She is a mama to a little girl and she's pregnant with twins right now. She is also doing a decluttering video for you guys so you'll get double motivation. So definitely head on over to her channel when you finish watching mine. I'll have the links down below. And if you're coming over from her channel, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy watching my video and checking out my channel. And if you do, please subscribe. So now let's get into cleaning. Okay, now I'm gonna start pulling everything out of my cabinets, and this is one of the tips that I love that KonMari says to do, and it's to pull everything out and put it in a pile so you can see how much you have. I feel like when it's in the cabinets or hanging in your closet or in the dresser, you just don't realize. It's like your eyes play tricks on you, but when you see it in a pile, it's always crazy. So I'm pulling everything out right now. This won't be done exactly like the KonMari method. I have decluttered the majority in my house so I can't really go by category but there are three areas that I'm gonna work on today so that's what you're gonna be watching Okay, now that I have everything cleared out, I wanted to show you real fast how bad they were inside. I had no idea how dirty they were going to be. So before I go and start like decluttering all the products, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these out real fast so they're nice and fresh when I'm ready to put everything back into them. I'm just taking my Dyson Animal Vacuum with its attachments and vacuuming out all the cabinets and the drawers and just getting all those loose things that need to be picked up with the vacuum. Now I'm going to take my Jaws um, hard wood cleaner because these are wood cabinets to go ahead and clean them out and I'm going to just spray them first so it can be soaking um, while I work on the other cabinets because there is some like buildup in there from like products that have like fallen over. Um, Jaws is a cleaning company that I just did a video for last week. If you want to check them out, I'll leave their link down below in my description box, but they're just like a non-toxic eco-friendly cleaning product and you just add water and I also have a coupon code so definitely check that out down below in my description box because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me don't want to wake up I love my white cabinet so much when um, we went to buy this house that's one of the things that sold me on it but I will say they are just really really high maintenance they get so dirty and I feel like we're very clean people and even my daughter's very clean my husband's clean and they still just um, get grime and dirt all on them so that's definitely one thing to consider if you're wanting white cabinets is think how clean of people you are because we are super clean and I'm wiping these down all the time and they're still filthy I put 
Okay, now that these are nice and cleaned and wiped out and ready for things to be put back in them, I'm going to head back into my master bedroom to sort through all of this mess. Here's just kind of a low overlook of everything that was in my cabinets. I just think that's insane because there's not, I mean, they're nice, they're a good size, but that's just a lot of stuff in one area. The first step that I like to do is just go through and pick up all the trash. I feel like it's so easy to do that. Other things are really hard to sort through, but when you see trash, it's just easy to grab it and throw it out. Now you're going to see me start working on like my nail polish tray and this is something I have been working on for a while. I've bought in different trays, I've been through my nail polishes, but basically where I had them wasn't working so I kept the same tray and just reorganized them more by color and then I left that middle slot for like the longer bigger pieces and it's working out so much better. So sometimes if you are organized and you have systems but they're not working, sometimes just rethink them and reorganize it within that system. And it may work out better. When organizing another tip is bins even if they don't match like this one right here is like black and white it does not match my theme but it's just put away in a drawer but you can see I have plastic I have white but bins really keep light things grouped together so when you're opening and closing the drawer they're not sliding all around you know kind of where to look you know like right now I'm putting all my husband's like electric shaver into one then when he's looking for that small piece or the cleaner or the brush he knows right where to go and it's within that bin Okay, now you're gonna see me grab on these shirts and just so you know what those are, I feel like everybody wins free shirts from somewhere and you never know what to do with them because they're too big. I use them to wear when I'm dyeing my hair so I don't mess up my clothes or any of the towels that I have in my house and so I'll just always save a few of those freebies but I got to thinking I really don't need three. One is good enough and I've already got one stained so I went ahead and kept that one for when I dye my hair. Right now, I'm still just sorting through all the products, deciding what to do with it. I couldn't believe how much of it was just like trash or expired or out of date. And then a lot of the things had just gotten out of their home. Like a lot of these went back into my laundry room and the bins where they belong. Um, it's like when somebody pulled them out, they didn't know what to do with it and they just threw it in that cabinet because it was the catch-all. Um, so a lot of this was just kind of putting it into bins that fit well, putting it back where it belonged or trashing it.
So I'm still just going through all my tubs and pulling things out that are expired. You'll also see me put things off to the side. That's my husband's and if it's not expired, I'm just putting it off to the side so he can go through it when he gets home. He also has like two or three bins to my right that aren't mine so I can't really declutter them because I don't know what he's using and not using so I'll just leave that for him. I also have a black bag over there I'm throwing like sample sizes into because we have a travel bag and we just keep everything pre-packed so we have toothpaste, toothbrushes, so when I have like small moisturizers or small lotions I like to throw them in that bag so then when we take a trip I have what I need and it's already packed in there. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are. Now I'm going to start putting everything back away. And so I'm starting, that's my husband's side of the sink, so I'm putting his stuff in there and it does take me a little bit to work out and figure out what needs to go where just because they have like the pipes. So any of his tall products have to get like moved off to the side. And I will say I didn't declutter any of his stuff, but just like rearranging it and cleaning it out and putting the trays in a different way, it already helped so, so much. And we're also thankful our builder put in these drawers at the bottom. They don't like the fake looking drawer below the sink, so they put that down below. And it just adds so much storage. I rarely use them, but it's just nice to know we have extra storage if we need it. Now I'm going to start putting in all my items below my sink. Right there you can see more of like the pipe of what I'm talking about. I have to work around. But this already looks so much better. I used to hate opening up that cabinet right there. And now I catch myself like walking past the bathroom and just opening it up so that I can see how it looks. Um, and then this is my nail polish drawer. And everything was within that nice little plastic container. So I just got to sit that right in and then this was another catch-all drawer it had so much junk in it and now it's just so clean and organized and everything has a place so I'm super happy with how it turned out Okay, and here is the after look. I didn't even use that bottom drawer, so it just feels so good. Everything has a place and nothing's crammed, nothing's stuffed in there. Um, I did just post a video on all my beauty products and skincare routine that I use, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave that in my description box um, if you wanna know about any of these products. Now we're moving on into the next area and that is my vanity. This is like my Mary Poppins bag. I will say I don't keep a ton of makeup like some people do, but just everything that I had in these three small areas, it was just too much, way, way too much. You guys always laugh at my cleaning videos when I'm trying to like close the lid and stuff. I've just got it all crammed in there. So it was definitely time just to get it all cleared out. So that's what I'm gonna start by doing just like I did in my master bathroom. I'm just gonna pull each thing out and lay it on my desk. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Again, step two is to clean it out so that I can prep it for when I'm done decluttering all my items. So I'm just using my Dyson vacuum again and clearing all that out just because it has like hairbrushes and makeup. There's a lot of loose hair in there and like, you know, eye pencil shavings, all that. So I'm just getting it nice and cleaned. And then I'm gonna take my cleaner and this time I'll tell you about my e-cloth rags. I love those rags. All you need is water to clean, but I also use them with other products. And I just love them, so I'll leave their link down below as well in my description box. So I'm just gonna finish wiping this out and then I'll head back over to declutter all my products. Okay. 
Okay, once again, I'm gonna start off by just picking up all the trash. I feel like when you look at a pile of items like this, it can be super overwhelming. You wanna give up, you wanna stop. Just go for something easy like trash. Start pulling out all the trash. Start seeing if there's any old products that are out of date or expired. Are they empty? Are they dried up? Just get all those things because those are easy choices you can make and get those gone. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is pulling out everything that I know I'm keeping. I know I need that hair dryer. I know I need my straightener. I know I need those hair brushes. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab those and put them back in. So then when I start tackling this pile that's in front of me, I've got all the trash that needs to be gone. And I know everything that's a must have is put back and it just makes that mountain not so big to climb. I also want to tell you empty out your bins like I went ahead I had everything in that clear bin but when you're organizing go ahead and dump it out clean it so you have a clean surface to work with but then that forces you to go through those items so I probably would have left everything in there and not gotten rid of much because I'm like oh it fits it's in a bin it's organized but I got rid of most of that stuff that was in there plus the tray is nice and clean now so when I open up that drawer it just looks nice and tidy going out my mind give me some directions to get to you to get to you ain't gonna waste my time i know that we ain't got connections so the KonMari method is all about keeping things that spark joy and bring like peace and joy into your life. And I feel like that works so well. I got rid of so much home decor in my house because I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I just didn't look at it and make me happy. And when I did that, it completely changed the tone and the feel in my home. But when I'm working on like beauty products, I try to figure out what do I feel good in? Like when I wear that lipstick, did I feel good in it? Did it make me feel pretty? Did I not like it? Did I like not like looking in the mirror when I saw it? So that's how I try to go through my makeup as well as if it's expired, do I wear it? Do I like it? Did I care for it? Some of it I like, I just don't gravitate towards. So I went ahead and decided to get rid of that. Um, and just figure out your process that what you know what works well for you but if you put on something and it just automatically doesn't make you feel better there's no reason for it to be inside your house I'm going out my mind give me some directions to get to you to get to you ain't gonna waste my time I know that we ain't got connection I think about you For you my love You drive me crazy Tell me what my makeup always gets so dirty just from it rubbing up against each other or you know if a concealer or something breaks in there so I'm trying to just wipe it down with my damp rag as I put it back into the organizer.
okay and here's an after look of my vanity and it is so much better things actually close without me like cramming it in there and slamming the drawer down or the lid real quickly I can see my makeup better so I'm so excited to have that done the last area I want to work on is in my laundry room cabinets and I have a good system in there but there's things that I'm not using that I want to clear out and it's just gotten dirty from like where my bottles have leaked um this is my second cabinet in there and I'm not going to touch that one because that one's working really well I've got bins with labels on it so I'm going to start on this cabinet the one I am working on and once again I'm just gonna clear everything out of it I also love this idea of not only seeing how much you have because it is like mind-blowing how much fits into one cabinet but you find so much that you didn't realize you had either it was hidden in the back or had fallen behind something so I love just getting it all out and starting fresh. Once again, I'm just using that same vacuum and I'm gonna vacuum out the shelves and then I'm gonna use my Jaws cleaner again and my e-cloth rag just to wipe all those shelves down. There were a few spots I was having trouble getting clean, so I just grabbed my magic eraser and I do cut those in fours, so that's why it looks so small, and that helped to clean out the rest of the like detergent that had spilled on my cabinet. Now I did like the system I had, so most of the items are going to go right back where they were, but they had gotten dirty, so I'm going to just try to wipe each product as I put it back in so that it's nice and clean, and this time I know like to be careful with the lids on the bottles and not to leave them loose, and I'm just, you can see me grabbing product by product and putting it back in where it belongs. really tall cabinets and this bin had been on the very top shelf and I just can't even see it or reach it up there and I forgot all the products I had crammed in there so it was just nice to like declutter that and put away only the things that I need. I do keep quite a few cleaning products just because I home make a lot of my products like my laundry detergent and different cleaners so I like to have those just supplies on hand and those pink containers just came from the Dollar Tree. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to Jamie's channel and check out her video. And please subscribe if you're new. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.